Hello YouTube, my name's Jason and this is Lion Worm. I bet at this point you're wondering why I am at the Java uh, Downloads website. Well, I'm not going to download anything and I'm not going to teach you how to download anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to install the Java SE7 development kit well, the JRE7 development kit and all that stuff, so you can use Java 7 with Eclipse now. I just found out about this just like minutes ago, and I had to go through here and I had to figure it out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to set this up. And what the first thing you need to do is go to Eclipse, and as you can see, Eclipse for Java 7. I put it right here, just type in Eclipse for Java 7 and click the first thing. It's supposed to say JDT Eclipse Java 7 Support Beta Eclipsepedia or something like that. Go ahead and click that. And when you get here it announces the Eclipse Java 7 support is no longer in beta phase. It has been integrated into the existing streams. So now we have this Java uh, 7 in the Eclipse. So isn't that just fantastic? The, all we're going to do right now is just click this Downloads button right here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to click this 4.1. I already have it downloaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and just download it. It should be a zip file and it will be right down here. The next thing you want to do is you want to extract it to your... Uh, well, actually, before I can do that, um, you need to click it. And then you need to come down here and you need to pick the one that's supported by yours. And I suggest you use this HTP. I clicked on this one. This is the one I wanted. So I went ahead and I clicked it. And then I just chose the mirror that was closest to me, which was Georgia Tech Software Library. So I clicked on that one. Or you can just click on this one right here. Whatever one. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same content anyways. So go ahead and click it and save it. So it will save right down here. And then come down up to your your downloads folder and just go ahead and just right click it and extract it and I want you to extract it to your computer uh, your program files program 86 times 86 if you're doing the 64 bit one and just program files if you're doing it in the other one and I just want you to extract it and whenever you get it it has this new interface to it and whenever you first get into the interface it's going to look something like this and if you notice I have this file which was the Java 1.6 and this is the 1.7 but whenever you first get into it I don't know if yours is going to act up like mine did but I had to actually put the uh, Java SE 1.7 JRE files inside of my uh, my 7. So these this file is set up for uh, Java SE 6 and this is set up for Java SE 7 and the way I did this was whenever I went to file and I went to new project it come up like this and now you can see it has the JRE 7 one right here but before you can get that right there you have to go to configure JREs and whenever you click on this it's going to uh, this one right here will not be here, but this one will be. And what you need to do is go to Add, and then you want to do it as a standard virtual machine, and then just click Next. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the directory, and you want to find your JRE folder. And whenever you're looking for your JRE folder, it should be in your computer, and it should be wherever your Java files are located. Uh, mine are located in my program file by 86 and I just went straight into it like this coming straight through it and I seen the JRE 6 just click it don't go any further than that and just click OK and as you can see it brings up all my JRE 7 files that I can use with the Java RE 7 package and then I just clicked um, uh, finish and it finished it for me the reason it's not allowing me to click finish now is because I already have it installed into my file. So that's why it's right there now. So I'm going to just click cancel. You click finish. And 
then I want you to it'll have this clicked and this is how you click your default JRE the original one is JRE 7 I want you to click on the JRE well the JRE 6 is the original one the JRE 7 one is the one I want you to click and then I just want you to click OK and it should save it straight out and then you can just go ahead and name your project whatever you want to name it and you can go ahead and stick this to J Java SE 1.7 if it's on Java SE 1.6. Just go ahead and put it on Java uh, SE 1.7. If we put it on Java SE 1.6, this right here won't change. And you can come over here and you can change that if you want to just use the JRE 6, uh, the Java Development 6 uh, interface. But I'm going to be doing mine in the Java uh, uh, RE 7 interface. So, I'm doing mine in the Java SC7 and the reason I'm going to be doing it in here is because there's some new uh, tasks in the Java SC7 that are going to be in generics which will be in the next tutorial and that's why I want to go ahead and teach you how to set up the Java SC7 for Eclipse and that's how we set that up so I already have it created I already have a project created so you can go ahead and put that in there and finish it right now I already have that created so all we would have to do at this point is go ahead and like just create a new class give it a name or whatever we want to do and I'll just say um Lineware tutorial is what I'm going to call this one and then I want to give it a main class so I'm just going to put the main in there and just let it go ahead and take that and whatever it saves now we have our new Java SC7 file created well that's all I'm going to go over in this tutorial thank you for watching my name's Jason this was Lineware please comment rate and subscribe and have a great day